Well, we are now just eight days away from the one year mark of Tropical Storm Irene hitting in the capital region. An important piece of history was lost in the floodwaters. The Blenheim Bridge in Schoharie County was one of the longest and oldest covered bridges in the entire world. Historians called it an engineering marvel, but nearly one year ago, a churning Schoharie Creek washed it away. As Chris Kleininger shows us now, workers are scrambling to preserve the bridge's place in history piece by piece. Only 330 people live in the small Schoharie Valley town of Blenheim. Their covered bridge was not only an icon, but a big source of their tourism. The bridge is on the National Register of Historic Places. It's designated as a national landmark, historic landmark, and it is also recognized as a national civil engineering landmark. Irene wiped out the once longest single span covered bridge. Even though it no longer spans the river, it's still a bridge over troubled waters. The Department of the Interior may yank it off the list of historic landmarks. You can stay on the list if you've got 51% of the original structure. Since the storm, volunteers have found pieces of the bridge. Those pieces of the bridge are being kept at the Old Stone Fort Museum. We still occasionally get a call here, a call there, as far as uh, maybe some different parts, but I think most of the identification process has been done as far as we're aware of. The next step in the process is to inventory the parts collected. Even though there are a lot of unanswered questions, their timeline to complete the process might not be as tight as once originally thought. It did apparently hit their radar uh, at some point, but uh, as far as I understand, again, not on their agenda for, for a while. It might take two years before the situation is reevaluated, giving the small town a bit more hope. Reporting in Blenheim, Chris Gloninger, CBS 6 News.